Hello and welcome back to my channel. You are learning English with Teacher Lily. Today we shall continue our English year four, module six, getting around for our lesson number two. Learning standard for this lesson is two point two point one. Keep interactions going in short exchanges by one to show understanding. And learning objectives are by the end of the lesson, people should be able to number one, tell time correctly with guidance, and number two, understand the meaning of arrives and leaves in the dialogue. For our activity one, smart kids, let's have fun with our friend Nana talking about how to tell time. I hope you all. Will listen carefully and please take note when Nana is talking about how to tell time, because it is very important so so that you can answer your exercise in your workbook later. All right, class. So let's get started. We're going to learn how to tell time. Do you know how to tell time? But before that, I have one riddle for all of you. It goes like this: What has hands but no arms, and also a face but no eyes? Can you guess? Has a face and two hands. Let's have a look at the clock. So this is the face, and there are two hands on it. The short hand is called the hour hand, and the long hand is called the minute hand. So the short hand represents the hours. One, two, three, four. Remember, each number represents five minutes. So, if the long hand shows four, it's not four minutes. But can you tell me what number four represents? Yes, twenty minutes. Five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. So, to tell time, it's two twenty. Do you get it? Let's try another one. What time is it? Identify the hour first, then the minute. Yes, it's four forty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, and forty. Good job. Next, what time is it? Again, look at the hour hand, then the minute. 
eight, nine, fifteen. Five, ten, fifteen. Last one. What time is it? Oops, the minute hand shows twelve. Do you know what that means? It means there's no minute there. So the answer is it's eleven o'clock. So you have to remember when the long hands shows twelve, it becomes o'clock. No minutes involved. Okay? So friends, do you think you can tell times now? Hmm, now let's switch things up. You need to tell me which clock represent the time that I say, okay? Are you ready? Number one. Which clock shows 5.45? Yes! Well done! It's A. The long hand shows 9. 45 minutes. Which clock shows 3.25? Yes, the answer is C. The long hand shows 5 equals to 25 minutes. Good job! Next, let's continue. Which clock shows 10.55? The long hand shows 11. 11 equals to 55 minutes. So friends, are you clear now? I hope you can tell times using the analog clock. I think that's all for today. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Well, stay tuned for part 2 of Telling Time. Next, I would like to tell you two vocabulary that we will learn today. The first one is leave or depart. Look at the sentence. The train leaves the station at 10.10 in the morning. Look at this um, video, short video. Uh, do you know who is this boy? Yes, you are right. He is Harry Potter. What is he doing? He was waving his hand at you, right? So the meaning, so it is, means that he is leaving. So the train leaves the station at 10.10 in the morning means leaving or depart. Second one is arrive or reach. Look at this sentence. The train arrives at 10.50 in the morning. Okay. Can you look at this um, picture? Okay. The train has stopped, right? Because it's already arrived at the station. So, it's the opposite word with leave. Leave means going and arrive means um, reach at the station and stop. Alright, I hope you understand these two vocabulary for today. That is, live and arrive. Okay, activity 2, Smart Kids, textbook, page 60. You have to listen to the dialogue letter. After that, read again and complete Greg's note on page 61. After that, you have to listen again to the short uh, dialogue on textbook page 61 and after that you have to circle the correct answer so you have to listen carefully and please take your textbook 
and open to page 60 and 61. Get ready, class. We're going to read a story on page 60 and do exercises 3 and 4 on page 61. Now, kindly refer to your textbook, page 60. Listen and read. Where are the children going to go tomorrow? Listen and read. Good morning, class. Tomorrow, we're going to go on a school trip. Where, Mrs. Rama? We're going to visit the zoo. Wow! How are we going to get there? By bus. How long does it take by bus? It takes about 40 minutes, Greg. Yeah. What time does the bus leave? The bus leaves at 10.10 in the morning. So, we're going to arrive at the zoo at 10.50, right Mrs. Rama? Yes, Greg. Is that all? Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Rama. Now, based on the story before, I want you to complete these notes. Once you have finished, you may continue my lesson and check your answers. Now, let's check your answers. They are going on a trip to the... The answer is... Zoo. They are going by... The answer is... Bus. The bus leaves at... The answer is... 10.10 in the morning. And they are going to arrive at... 10.50 in the morning. Textbook page 61 Exercise 4 For exercise 4, you need to listen to an audio and circle the correct answers. Are you ready? Let's get started. 4 Listen and circle 1 So Gary, are you going to come to my party tomorrow at half past five? Sure. What time did you say it's going to be? At half past three? No, it's going to be at half past five. Half past five, right. Two. Do you know how to get there? You can ride your bike there or come by bus. How long does it take to get there? Well, it's faster by bus. It takes 15 minutes by bus and 50 minutes by bike. 50 minutes by bike? That's a lot. I'm going to come by bus then. That's a good idea. 3. So, what bus do I take? You take bus B8 from Barry Station. It leaves at 5.15. I'm sorry. Did you say 5.50? No, it leaves at 5.15. OK, so, I take bus B8 at 5.15, right? Yes, that's right. Thanks, Alice. Bye. See you tomorrow, Gary. Activity 3, Smart Kids Workbook, page 51. So, this is your work for today. Number 1, how are they going to get to the park? Follow the lines and write. You have to follow this line. There are four lines here. Then you have to put how are they going to the park? By what? Okay, the first one is bus and then second one is by foot, by train or by bicycle. So, you have to follow the line and write the correct answer. For number two, look at the timetable and answer the questions. Okay, this timetable is about uh, the train that is leaving, uh, the train or the bus that, uh, the train, the train, the train that is leaving from and arrive at. Okay, number one, what time does the train leave from Chester? 
Chester here is not a name of a boy. It is a name of a place. Alright. So, there are some names of the places here. So, you have to look at the timetable and write the correct answer. Number one. What time does the train leave from Chester? It leaves at a quarter to seven or 6.45. You write like this, okay? And number two. What time does the train arrive at Pop? It arrives at what time? And so on. Number three, number four, and number five. After you finish, you can snap the picture for me and send it to my personal WhatsApp. Or you can send your book to the school after you finish so that I can collect and check it for you later. Alright? If you have any doubt, you can always ask me personally. So, that is all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay safe and please stay at home. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share my Future Lily YouTube channel. So, that is all for today class. Goodbye.